Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome back to the third and final segment of our today's episode, the sixth episode of Taste of Learning. We will thank you, inshallah, jazakumullah to all of you for staying tuned in. Inshallah, we will continue with the things we were uh, talking about on the uh, second segment, the changes. Okay, we have so far come to know that the changes are basically on the paper sats and maths, paper uh, one, paper two, and paper three. Paper one I have kind of replaced uh, uh, with the mental maths, not the fully though, and paper one, uh, paper paper two and three uh, replaced paper A and B, which were previously on the sats. So, mathematic reasoning are the paper two and three. So, <coughs> how a parent can <coughs> learn those things, we will come to know from our guest today, uh, Brother Mahabha Hussain. So, tell us about these things uh, for the parents. Like English, the parents can be uh, going to schools and colleges. Even the schools are providing support uh, for the parents to do some courses and classes in their premises in order to improve their skills in English. How a parent can be helped get this kind of support from school or from anywhere else to help themselves with helping their children for maths? Okay. Could you please tell us? Uh, that is quite a very good and important questions for parents and viewers who are really wanted and have times and uh, uh, eager to help their children. And I should say, as a parents, they should play their roles to help the children one way or other. Even if the changing is not just giving and obstacles, changing are for the better men. The change in the national curriculum, one way, is the main reason to make our children absolutely new might. So you have appreciate in the first place the yeah, changes? Changes. So because the curriculum is coming is wide and broad, giving you more uh, options that children can learn many things in terms of their knowledge and understanding, not just to calculate the test-based questions. That is not the main purpose of changing the national curriculum. Changing the curriculum main purpose to give the children, to give the educators, and to give the institutes wide options to build children's knowledge and understanding in terms of whole national curriculums. Mm -hmm. Not just have a race, school to school, to have a top uh, number in the league systems mm. and get the good result in test-based questions. No, it's not just asking the question, sorry, uh, national curriculum. Mm. The government, that's why this, this is one way is good. I like it. Okay. For the parents, some of the uh, parents are those we learn from back our home that the strategy to teach the mathematical uh, uh, some of the topics is coming back to the international curriculum in this country. Giving an example, if I can see on the screen uh, paper one mm -hmm. now. Okay, could you please uh, sh display paper one? On uh, question number two or three, mm -hmm. then isn't there like 123 mm -hmm. multiplied by two? Mm. So there is a strategy that in previously that mm -hmm. you can partition this mm -hmm. or use the grid method to ma get the answer mm. but now the government saying and uh, focus on to teach the formal written method from year two okay it means the formal written method is the vertical method mm. that we learn back in our home okay so you need to write the questions at the top set the question vertically mm -hmm. for example 123 multiplied by two write it down to underneath rather than you partition mm. or grid method. As you can see on the screen. You can see example. the question on the screen. If it is this way, so is one the best strategy is government find out is the vertical formal written method. Mm. It should be start from year two. Mm. Once is year four, that should be fluent. In five, they must use their skill, all this calculation skill mm. in practically, in test mm. and other situation as so well. So vertical formal formal written method. method. Yeah. Written method. 
and also the parents can got the in terms of resource for primary schools mm -hmm. in sen because this is the news changes a news style there are some uh, commercials website so they can visit the website and which one is the dp one like a simple question if they uh, contact with you I can help to send it back or they can visit the DFE website to D find F -E D -F -E. website. D -F -E. What are they going to write on the Google? Yeah, on the Google, D -F -E. if you just write it on DFE, then it will come up Format the government or site. Or no, just write it on DFE. Then you can follow the instruction, you'll find out. When you follow the uh, instruction, you will find the um, sample papers. So print out and have a go, and you can see the style and uh, the expectation in the new format. And for the GCC maths and A level maths, that one is quite a very good website which is called mystudyhub.co.uk. Let me repeat mystudyhub.co.uk. UK. My study hub should be one word. One word and yes. dot co dot uk. Dot co dot UK. So if you visit this one, instantly you can see many options there for the maths, the physics, science, and uh, chemistry, all these for maths and A level. There is the online something that when you ask the questions, the online will repeat the, your answer. Okay. The, and this is guided by, I predict, that is uh, most of the Russell Group University, Oxford and Cambridge, mm -hmm. Imperial King's College and ECL. They have a very um, golden, isolated, gifted and talented uh, children, I mean student. They um, find this one, invent this one to help the children, giving the guidance how you can uh, get the admissions in a good university, how mm. you can get a good result in maths and other subject. Mm. So I will suggest they can visit the mystudyhub.co.uk. Mystudyhub.co.uk. UK. And, and for the primary, is what about I YouTube then, for example? Can there be some video and slides and and some I did um, not visited myself the e, e, um, clips YouTube and clips so YouTube. far because is the new style will be later on I predict and I assume that uh, will be later but on. But for basic rules, yeah, basic rules. Definitely, yeah. they can help. But basic rule is not a change. The I'll say again the f uh, for the viewers and the for the parents, the basic rules for the mathematical is not a change. Just the change of the assessment style mm. and just uh, the change is the f um, test based question style that is the changes is coming on so you don't need to worry about those basic and nothing things. to be but worried about that what we are worrying as uh, for example a representative of the parents that how can we learn those basic rules which are um, embedded in the in the, in, in the system for long have for have the parents if I if I system. just suggest uh, to the viewers and to parents as well who are watching today is every school they have one calculation policy that must be follow every teachers in the classroom mm -hmm. in yeah, practice mm. so this calculation policy will be shared as well I just nearly 100% sure every school will be shared this one one way or the in each term or beginning of the year or mm. maybe end of the terms so this calculation policy when they ask uh, to the teachers or head teachers any parents then they will get it mm. when that is one way is guidance so how you need to teach the addition subtraction multiplications and divisions at home to your children mm. and how the teachers follow this guidance to teach in the classroom this way you can have a link between the classroom and at home. Now tell me one thing, sir, actually it comes up in my mind that in order uh, to learn those uh, basic things and in order to improve those basic things, so you can say yes. those who are, are coming from back home to brush up their knowledges. knowledges. Are the old systems of calculating and um, uh, dividing or um, uh, multiplying applicable, still applicable and they can um, practice on those things just tell us so is, is is just i said i mentioned because, you know when you're that talking, very good question i'm laughing this way because mm. maybe some parents are watching they will not believe it now why am, I asking, why am i asking let me tell you mm. let me finish here why i'm asking because mm. it uh, uh, tells me that something is um, uh, pushing uh, from the back of my mind that is something uh, practical you cannot just explain uh, and keep telling that this is the way this is the way this is the way, until you're gonna show them practically it won't work 
That's why I asked you the question because it's difficult for us to display on the screen and uh, produce a uh, whiteboard here with all the materials and then teach uh, all these things. Right yes, yeah. So that's why I'm asking how they can be helped if you tell us that those uh, traditional style are still uh, I, I will not say traditional style because this uh, formal method is back to the curriculum in this country from um, last year okay that will be implemented in a test based question from next year because the strategy will not never get old we and you and everyone as a humans we can get the old but mm. strategy and learning okay. style will not get the old mm. learning style and the strategy sometimes is changing because of the children's how they can take the one strategy easily mm. and take the other one interpret so hard to understand that's why sometimes strategy need to be changed but that's not get the old okay so formal written method that we used to learn in our childhood uh, in our school primary school that back to the uh, curriculum in this country because they uh, find out this is the best way to learn and children can get the new might so quickly and efficiently using the formal method rather than going for the old back thing strategy yes if a child cannot understand the formal method one and you need for explanation using the grid method using your chunking method mm -hmm. using your partitioning method using your number line is fair enough but if a child formal method understands straight way to for divisions we don't need to go back all these strategies okay that is a curriculum also suggest you need to teach the formal method for all this calculation straight way however if for understanding in a classroom because this classroom 30 children or 34 children will be different not at the same way and they are taking when you're teaching so for understanding for more explanation you can use all this strategy is absolutely fine nothing wrong with that but you need to teach eventually the formal written method for all calculations which okay. is vertical okay. method okay i think that should suffice for a uh, parent in order to um, help uh, themselves and in order to help their children now i would like to ask a question as i said at the beginning maths is marvelous we will continue on those things on our future episodes inshallah maths is marvelous and we've got a teacher who is very dedicated to the community we thank you once again actually for these uh, contributions and service well. alhamdulillah mm. Tell us these things that much is marvelous, much is some people say mar fun, so much is magic, magical. So how a student can get taste in that? Because we are here to provide you taste, taste of learning. So do you have any games, any tricks or activity that can help a child learn maths through those things and activity a ch child can learn maths? Could you please tell us about this? That, uh, that is really, really very wide question. So we cannot say in one um, sentence or two sentences, but I'll try my best to summarize Definitely this Definitely you'll try, yeah. Because math is kind of puzzles or problem solving or your co double after your cognitive thinking skill only the solving the problems. Giving an example, maybe a sc uh, what sometimes people say magic box. Hmm or magical numbers if you have a three by three grid and you are allowed to use from number one to nine one number one digit each only one times so you cannot repeat the digit same digit again and you counting and putting all this digit in a nine different boxes when you counting uh, adding all these in a three in a row three in a vertical way three in a diagonals and always you get the answer 15 is not easy the magic to, square, to magic. which is the magic so square. that's why children is this mm. give it the opportunity for children to think how they can juggle around the numbers and making the target is the, the number 15 that will give their thinking skill to develop always thinking but it's not something to write a story when you're writing a story you don't need to think so much that we know the story okay billy uh, uh, and the goat then you start writing and drawing and this is coming that is not too much thinking skill 
but solving the pro problems or puzzle that giving you to double after your thinking strategy is one strategy is not working you need to think of the opposite or maybe the plan b what is option that available to use to solve this problem sometimes they struggle and then give up because they are exhausted that they are find it's so hard no i can't do that but some children take the challenge unless i mean until they finish or find the way to solve it hmm. so maths is giving you many wide options is not just a calculation so paper based do you get the answer three times five is 15 that is not the main objective that you get to memorize or learn off by heart but this 15 you need to use this skill your number skill your timetable skill to solve the big problem where is mm. the big something in a um, problems that coming for giving an example okay mm -hmm. you put like six different uh, symbols like a square rectangle or maybe a heart or maybe a leaf in a 16 little boxes mm. okay so your aim is like to make it now 200 mm. and you are used to um, allowed to use again one two nine digit only and you're not allowed to use zero you because when you use zero then you can make 10 20 30 that giving wide option so easily you can make it that's why zero is taken off okay so giving uh, um, that opportunity for children to develop their thinking skill when is giving say, each uh, shape represent a number mm -hmm. you need to think think first that what uh, represent what like if you say square represent five then all square putting in one row then is uh, four times five is 20 then how you can put the arrange the rest of the symbols i mean rest of the uh, shape in f uh, 12 boxes and when you adding all them together it has to be 200. Mm -hmm. so then again you juggle around with your number skill and your s problem solving skill two is coming together okay so this way is the children's enjoy them sometimes the children take a challenge so enjoy this solving the problem once they solve them they feel so proud of that that i just did it okay okay uh, we will have to go to a short break and we'll be back to this last segment inshallah after the break stay tuning until then <laughs> 